Hello guys, this is Kumba69 and I'm back with another Dr. Zone review. This one is of McTavius Destroy. I can't get the name on camera. I'm really sorry. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> ah. Wow, that was ridiculous. Okay, so basically, this is four boxes of Mectagon boxes all combined into one. This is what it will look like in the end. So, I have the cards here. Um, I'll, I guess I'll read them. Advance Slitherack. It's just flames with Slitherack behind it. Slitherack. This is Slitherack. Um, so, then Slitherack. Play during the battle where you have a Slitherack with a copper balcony bone attached. Roll this card to be in the use pile. You may reroll all your balcony bone that missed up to two times per turn. That is incredible. So, yeah. Mandibor. Mandibor. Mandibor is a bunch of water splashing in front of Mandibor. This being Mandibor. Advanced Mandibor. Play during the battle where you have a Mandibor with a gold balcony banner attached. At the end of the battle, remove your balcony banner from the game. Then remove any one ability card or support piece from the game. Okay, so that's extremely good, actually. Now, Exo Striker, this being advanced Exo Striker, um, this being Exo Striker, um, is Exo Striker with looks like green fire, but might be a forest in front of him. Um, this card looks cool. Um, when you have a Exo Striker with Silver Baku Mana attached, all Baku type Baku Ground lose G Power equal to their Baku Shield printed G Power. So, Baku Tech is only out in Japan, so I'm thinking, I mean, um, maybe. I don't know what they're called, but the things Baku Snap, maybe. Um, I don't have one with Baku Snap. Oh, right here. Um, I guess instead of adding G Power, they use the G Power boost on the Baku Snap. But it might be, um, this card might be unusable until certain point when they're actually released in the US. And now, Cordagon. Not advanced Cordagon, because Cordagon is just that awesome. He doesn't need to be advanced. This being Cordagon. I can't! Okay. That was an Ahmed reference, if you don't know. Look it up! Um... Oh, this is Gorgon with running on flaming rocks of lava. Just showing you how awesome Gorgon is. Um, oh, <laughs> put that down. Put it the battle with you when you have a Gorgon with Bokemon attached that matches the color of the gate card. The battle is on. Your book again gets 200 G's. 200 G's. G's. Yeah. Okay. So now I'll show you how to construct the giant monster. So, let's start with... I'm sorry if I messed this up, but um, This is... Um... Mandibor. I'm really sorry. I don't know their names. 
I remember that this is quoted down because he's just that awesome that I have memorized that. I guess I know this guy's name by now. So for him, you just need to turn his waist this way. Um, and that's it. It's easy. Same thing with um Exo Striker. You activate him. Just yeah, both of these are really the same. This one has spikes on the guns though. Guns, get it? Um no, guns are biceps. Oh <sighs> that joke would have been actually good, but I don't know. Who's who there? Um so his guns have spikes on them. Um this guy you move the other way. And oh yeah, for both of them you need to fold out these spikes. Um these spikes here on your charm. And for this guy, it's these spikes on your drum. So, now these are going to be the creature's legs. Now, watch the online, watch the online site. What, saying the exact same thing and just copying this whole video. Um so now get these legs here. Now we'll transform Sleutherak. To, to activate him you have to pull up this long tail I guess and then activate him. Um, this guy looks cool with these, um, bow saws. He'll be the weapon of the creature. Um, unfold these. And then, shut up dog. Fold the legs back like that. All the way, and then that's it. Now for putting on. Um, Cordyon, you activate the thing, fold up his mask, and then fold up. Oh, first you have to fold up the these wing spikes up. I can't get onto the camera but these spikes. Um well wow, I'm being really boring today. Well, I don't know why. That other video I made was pretty good. Now you fold out his sword and then you use the sword extension. Okay. And now to combine them. Oh wait. Um importantly, you fold down his feet like that and then fold them upwards and then out. Revealing pegs. Now you insert the pegs into the into the holes on the other mechagon. So there we go. Now finish. Let's just pan up the camera like that. Um get the bow saw guy, Slitherak. And connect the hole on his chest to the spike on 
is on. Now, the finished product falls and crashes and burns. Um, just, yeah. He looks killingly awesome. McTavious wants the video to end. Okay, okay, okay.